Good morning. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the Holy Spirit, the beauty of the Holy Spirit. Um, I want to talk about how a couple examples. So on Monday I was down in Bakersfield and I'm at one of my accounts and there's a uh, uh, probably a 35 year old black man with a with a uh, gas can, five five gallon gas can. He's at the pumps and he's asking people for money. And initially, where my heart was to be to be honest, I'm thinking, oh, he's you know ripping people off type thing just to get money type. So that's where, in my flesh, that's where it is. And I go in, I take care of the sandwiches, I come back out, I'm at my truck, and I had seen that somebody actually went and paid for some gas for him and he had filled it up and he was starting to walk my way and then the Holy Spirit within me just said um, you know was prompting my heart to just say you know God it looks like you've had a bad day God wanted me to bless you with a sandwich and as I said that he started to cry um, he was legitimately having a bad day you know, and I was passing judgment. But the Holy Spirit within me knew this man, loved this man, and wanted him to know he was loved in that moment. We're just vessels of the Holy Spirit um, moving through us and the beauty that can happen through that when we come to the end of ourselves. Um, we're, that's where our struggle is. It's between the flesh and the spirit. Um, but the more I get out of the way, the better better life is and I think a lot of times people use the spiritual gifts to glorify themselves that's not the the intent of uh, the Holy Spirit is is there to to work through you and I've seen the prophetic where people speak into people's lives it's allowing that person to know how much they're loved when there's healing it's allowing that person that's hurting to know how much they're loved by their creator. Um, so last night, there's a there's a scripture in Joel the prophet, and then also in Acts two they requote it. In Acts two seventeen, it talks about in the last days, and we're in the last days. The last days have been from Pentecost all the way till now. Um, but it says, you know, the young will dream dreams, and the old no the the young will have visions but the old will dream dreams. And I don't really dream, but today I'll let you know how it goes. Today I'm gonna to reach out to someone that I woke up in the middle of the night um, just with this, uh, this guy that I knew 10 years ago. I haven't talked to him that long, never even think about. But for some reason he was in, in my dreams and that he was really struggling with something. So I'm gonna reach out to him today. I'm going to find out if I can figure out how to get a hold of him because um, I believe the Spirit was trying to go with it. Anyway, I hope you all have a blessed day.